Blessed are those who are my disciples. You are blessed in spirit. You are blessed because you pursue justice and you test for goodness, kindness. You are my disciples when they insult you and they, they say all oh, manner of things against you. They will persecute you. They will kill you physically. They kill you for my sake and the gospel. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward is great, not here, but in heaven. That is our faith. Here is only a passenger. We are sojourners. We are travelers. We are strangers on this earth. Our home is up there. Whatever that up is, theoretically speaking, for this, there is our home. Not here. We are only passing by. She passed her next to Sevilla. She is gone. That is the joy of being a disciple of Jesus Christ. To be Jesus where he is. Even to suffer for Jesus. To suffer with Jesus. To suffer in Jesus. To suffer through Jesus. To suffer by Jesus. Put all the prepositions. They are done. That is the joy we feel for my mother and our mother and our mother. I'm happy because she has died in Christ. In whose name will you die one day? In whose name are you going to bury me? Think about it. She is not listening to my preaching. These words of exhortation, we are listening to them. She is speaking to us. Please, brothers, where are we going to spend eternity? Where are we going to live forever? In the place of suffering, to fear God. Never. With this, yes, I think yes. We want to be with this, and that's not the same here. How about we live here? How about now we live here? We want to be with Jesus, full stop. Nothing but Jesus. Jesus all the way. Jesus within me. Jesus beside me. Jesus above me. Jesus beneath me. Jesus before me, behind me. Jesus everywhere. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in heaven. We want to be with Jesus. You think we are going to stay here in this garden where we take us to IMF, where we don't get enough money to buy food, edibles and drink hours. You think we are going to stay here in forever where we are bombarded by all manner of uh, terrorist activities in the sub region, Al Qaeda, Boko Haram, Al Shabaab, ISIS, ISWAP. You think we are going to stay here? Think of where we will be after here. There is life after this life. I didn't say there is life after death. No. There is life after this life. Think about it. That will be the message for us. No matter how we live, we will die one day. Oh, let's live at Moses' age. In 120 years, we shall die. Oh, let's challenge Methuselah. 969 years, we shall die. But where do you go after this life? Okay, let us imitate dwarfs, dwarfs, these creatures we don't see and let them call them to be those who use magical powers or those who have powers are able to work with dwarfs, these short creatures, very, very old, very ancient, antiquated, the youngest among them, according to science, by their DNA, the youngest dwarf that died too soon, that goes away too soon is Mark 
chapter 8, verse 36. See therefore that my mother, the kingdom of God, first, and all the things we are looking for will be added unto us. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. My mother from her infancy has been a Catholic. As those who know her, as the men and girls, as a lady of apostles, Sakumodo, from 84. As a young St. Jerusalem Paris, as well as it. As anybody who knows her, she has been a Catholic. You cannot believe it. How she was and how she lived. All her children have been brought up in her faith. And even her humor, her humor, her sense of jovialty has been inherited generously by her children. All her children, one of them I know very well, a people writing, Father, tell us, rest of the world, how you run. I'm not telling you, I'm telling you, see, look at his smiling face. Okay, I'm not being able to, and that's why I was listening. God bless you. The children have inherited my mother, your mother's sense of evil. That is the Christian principle. A Christian cannot and should not be sad, morose, moribund. No, it is not possible. He said, in all circumstances, we should give thanks to the Lord. We give thanks to rejoice in That is what the children have inherited from mother. Her faith, her hard work, her discipline. Thank you. 